say, guys. I have to whisper right now because it is like 1.10 in the morning. I am trying to pull an all-nighter. Okay, it's like 1.10 on Wednesday morning. It's Tuesday, really. You know, we all know how it works. It's not Wednesday until the sun rises. Everyone else is asleep. That's why I have to be really quiet. I'm pulling an all-nighter because I have a school art project that is due Friday when I go into class. And uh, I'm not really even halfway done. It's like Wednesday morning, like I said, around the 110 area. So, uh, yeah, just glue and popsicle sticks together to make an art project. This project is going to be uh, it's a sculpture of a dog, and it's going to be covered in playing cards. So, you know, cool stuff. All right. I really hope you can hear me. I don't want to speak too loud because mom and dad are like right there. I don't want to wake them up. Dad's going to get up, I don't know, maybe three. Uh, I'm not done with the body of the dog yet, and I don't have any of the limbs, the head, or the tail done. So, that's why I'm doing this. Oh, that glue is hot. Hot glue. 1.15 a.m. Yes, I'm wearing a Superman cold shirt. I'm wearing Captain America pajamas. I've got six sticks. I need nine. I'm talking to the camera because it's super quiet. By now, I'm a little crazy. I mean... The last sleep I got was Monday night, and that was from 12 to 5 a.m., of course. It's almost 24 hours past that point, and I have not napped at all. But I'm not, like, tired. I've just got a little bit of a headache. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just going with the flow and flowing with the go. Potato, potato. The potato stays up all night to do his... Our project. Things are a little cuckoo. I thought I saw a person over there earlier. There wasn't. It was an orange apron. We do live pretty close to a prison. I guess it's a prison. I don't know. Some kind of police thingy. I'm going to put this one together. Then I'll show you what time it is. And I'm going to shut this off for a while. Then I'll come back in like an hour. So I'm going to put this thingy together. I have a system. You get seven sticks. We call it the 142 method. You get your one stick. Put some tape on it. Look, I'm making these things. Like strong sticks. You take four more, stack them up, all nice and neat. Put them on that one stick, tape it up. Booyah, now you got five sticks together. Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun. Just gonna glue, put another stick on top of that. Flip it over, squish it, get all the glue out, rub it off with your finger or something. By this point, it's not like super hot anymore. Still be cautious. That scared me, that was the washer. Or dryer, I don't know, something in that area. Then you're gonna take some glue, put it on that side. Put a stick on top of that, squish it down, wipe off the glue. Then you got this, but we've got these little knobs there, so just go and knock those out of here. Let me show you what time it is, and then I'll meet you in like an hour. Yep, so there it is, guys. It's 1.19 in the a.m. That's my sculpture, by the way. So I will see you guys around the two something area. Welcome back, guys. It's now two on the dot. Those pieces I was making earlier. I had already finished that piece and it turned into this thingy. So, you know, cool stuff. Uh, gosh, close enough. Uh, so yeah, now I'm doing a triangle piece and those are the worst ones. They start out alright, but then you have to measure all the pieces, uh, together. And I know you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about as a triangle piece because I made all these pieces. Came up with them in my, my little pumpkin head. That's what Phil always says. Figured I might as well talk to you about some stuff besides just this. So you guys will probably get bored with it because I'm getting pretty bored with it. This is the exact same thing over and over just making a bunch of these things I figured I might as well just talk to you about some stuff number one a few of you may have already noticed I'm wearing a blue thingy on my thumb and you're like now what in the world is that thing um, well it is tape wrapped around my thumb and this is because when I use these scissors a lot I don't get a blister then <laughs> trying to prevent a blister next topic of uh, talking in gym we're doing a floor hockey unit and you know hockey is pretty rough so I choose to be the goalie being the goalie I forgot that you are the one that has the puck hurled at you or shot at you whatever and uh, when the puck hits you, it hurts like a lot our teacher only provides the stick there is no gear whatsoever so ah, right there puck hit me there and right on the wrist that's why i got this nice little lump there you might not be able to tell uh but check out these pictures from like 
24 hours ago. Check them out. That's what it looked like. And uh, it's getting better. My wrist did swell up to about almost an inch bigger round wise than my other wrist. Uh, but it's gone down a little bit. So yeah, that's the floor hockey part of our conversation. It's a little after two. Dad will be getting up around three. So this might be the, the last one of these talky things. Chat, vlog, nonsense until like the four o'clock one. Uh, let's see what else can I talk about. Uh, got to do a, a travel agency thing over England. Like I'm the guy that's making all the plans for some rich guy, and he's going on vacation on spring break, and he's going to England, and I don't get to go. I just gotta make up the travel plan. Of course, this is just an assignment for English, but you know, I'm like, you know what? It'd kind of be cool to go to learn all about this stuff. Visit the London Eye. Started to think about Stroop the cat, and uh, since I won't be having any dreams tonight because I'm gonna be up all night, I'm like, hmm, Stroop the cat. And if you if you've been with me for a while since like almost the beginning, you will know who Stroop the cat is or the goose. You know. If you know the ending of that story, go watch that video. It's like the fourth, maybe fifth one, I don't know, in that area of this channel. So, uh, what else can I talk about? Um, talked about the tape, talked about floor hockey, talked about England. I just don't have a very interesting life, I guess. That's all I can talk about is basically schoolwork and past videos. Hot glue. Hurts every time, man. Every time? I wonder how nuts I'm gonna get throughout the night. Like where I just start saying random stuff and all that good stuff. Shoot on a fruit loop. That may have been an example of the crazy stuff I was talking about. Kinda talking to myself, but I'm talking to a camera, so it makes you know, I have a reason. These triangle things look like this. These are the worst ones to make because you have to measure everything. I thought I heard a car door. Okay, anyway, coming home from school today, my mom and I were talking. I forget what the conversation was even about. She said the phrase, money's no option. And I said, I don't think that's right, mom. And then she said, yeah, I think it is. Money's no option. And then I said, no, I'm pretty sure it's money's no object. So I Googled it. Like I put in uh, money's no, and both of them came up. Money's no option and money's no object. So which one do you think is right? Leave that down in the comments. I figured I might as well tell you, like, the uh, drive behind this. Like, why am I up so late? That's because mom very strongly doubts that I will get this done. And I said, mom, I'm going to get this done. She said, I don't know. And then I said, I got this. You got to work, like, super hard all the time. She said, Jacob, I really don't think you're going to get this done. Just wait. I got this. And then she said, if you get it done on time, I'll give you $100. And then I said, uh, what if I want it in pennies? And she said, yeah. Because I don't think she thinks I'm going to get it done. But then she started helping me count sticks. So she's like, yeah, I better jump on the bandwagon. He's going to get this done. Better be on Team Jacob. I'll try to come up with some more interesting things to talk about. Oh, I almost dropped all these sticks. Uh, let's see. I'll try to come up with some more interesting things to talk about for the next hour. What are you doing, you glue? That's what it looks like right now. So it is currently uh, 2.10. Yeah. See you guys at like the... 3 o'clock area. Okay guys, so it is like a... It's 3 or something. Life hacks, so let's get into these. Get tape. Okay, let me just explain. These are gonna be primarily the stuff I have around me right now, thinking off the top of my head. The first one, guys, is obviously, we've already covered it, wrap your thumb or fingers in tape to avoid getting blisters. Life hacked. This one applies to you glasses wearing ring wearing people when you go to bed odds are you don't wear both of them so here's what you can do take off your glasses take your ring put it onto the thingy of the glasses like that close that close that and now you will not lose your ring and it's right there on your glasses and you open it up it's like boom life hacked if you have a glue gun and you see how the glue it's like not coming out because I need to put another glue stick in here. Or you can do this. Take a skinny-ish object, put it right there in between, and then glue will come out. Oh no, I got glue on the scissors. Life hacked. That just might be all I have for you guys right now. Yep, that's about it. In the next hour, we'll do something else. Oh, still about right there.
It is 3.07. Well, uh, late night with Jacob only lasted till four o'clock because at four o'clock when you're working on your project and dad wakes up and tells you to go to bed. So I'm going to bed. It's like 410 right now. And, uh, yeah, I set my alarm for six. So I'm going to get up at six, eat breakfast and keep working. So two hours of sleep. If that, if you guys like this late night with Jacob, where I just talk about random stuff while I'm doing something, uh, yeah. Hit the thumbs up. Tell me in the comments. Yeah, I like this. So, you know, just do whatever. And I think that's it for this video, guys. So, if you would, please, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. <laughs>